Hey guys, Boom Bash here, back another video. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a command block execute multiple com multiple commands. So like just like this over here, you can run this. It will drop a minecart. Uh but as you see it says one, two, and then test. So so first thing we're gonna do is I I've made a um I've made a pr uh, program yesterday. I mean not yesterday, like two days ago that works uh... there will be so uh... go to my github in the descri description you can download it uh... there would be source code it was made in c-sharp so yeah you can go check the source code if you're a skeptical skeptical about this it's right here we are right here so put in minecraft command so basically uh... you just want to put in every command so like we can say one say two say three say four say five and then just put an empty line and hit enter and that will just run the program so this is our commander here we have one two three four five and then this is to get rid of it so boom we got that now you will need a button to activate it you don't need a stone one just any button do not put it on the top because it will be replacing that so we're gonna run this boom one two three four five in chat right there one two three four five and this will work for like anything then let me open that again oh and I will be updating this this works for 1.16.5 and 1.17 so we could just do like if you don't want to say uh, minecraft, minecraft with command block we can just do telra telra at a uh, test and then we can uh, fail from boom boom uh, this is um these uh, curly brackets is from where the command block is executed at. So boom, minus one. Uh, also, it'll be one block higher than the command block. So we got that, and then no, all right. So we'll do three, and then three. Zero, and then go from there to ten. Negative one, and then three over, and we're gonna fill it with. Uh, we're gonna diamond underscore block because we're fancy. Let's get that, and then tower uh, at a done. Now we're just gonna enter, and boom, one three commands, and then this last one just uh, uh finish that, and then oh wrong thing, and then right here we can. Well, we're gonna delete everything in there, and then we're gonna put it in there. I'm gonna execute that. Boom! All right, so right here, we got our uh, we got our area of diamonds, and and yes, we can also put command block. So if we ever want to like, I have wrote at it. Oh wait, no, I guess I don't, because it's not out for one to seventeen. I made this one one to sixteen. Uh, so if we want to, we can add command blocks. So like, if you want to do command blocks, uh, the way we would do that is we could do uh, set block, boom, so three out, same level, three over to the side. We're going to set it to command underscore block. And if you want to do repeating, repeating underscore command block, chain, uh, a chain command block, chain underscore command block. And if you want to get any commands, you can just do like slash set block. Uh, well, we'll just put these corners just uh, so it's simplicity. Uh, so yeah, look, chain command block, uh, repeating command block and stuff. Uh, so I'm just gonna do command block, and then we can put brackets. It's like if it's conditional, which we would use for chain after thing goes off, uh, facing direction for chain and stuff. But if you just blank, you can put um, an NBT tag in curly brackets. So we can do command um, what is that? I forgot what it's called but I'm just gonna go in anyway and then uh, double um, double quote and then just type uh, say E uh, say test boom and if we look in here say test so if we uh, make sure you remove the slash at the beginning so if you do that go here not that we go here, we can, we can, yeah, alright, so yeah, we can just leave that blank like that, and then that, command, colon, 
Oh no, the brackets say hey. Say hi to YT. Exactly like that. And if we want, we can set block. Uh, we can set block like right above that redstone underscore block. And to that, maybe you got a command here. Oh, and I would suggest you not you can do a game roll. Um, command block output false. So if I set it to true for a second, uh, I'll put that in there. Yeah, it's gonna say like here, Minecraft stuff and everything. So oh yeah oh by the way here's our um, thing. So let me click. Uh, let me set that to false again. And you do uh, slash game roll. Where is it? Oh, max command block chain length. Uh, so that's just like, it's like let's say I have command blocks here, like, like this. These are chain, like I can set this to chain and then conditional. And boom, basically, after this one goes off, so say hi, uh, say one, say two, say three. Basically, it's gonna say hi and then one, two, three. Oh, wait, no, always active like this. Oh, and if you want to have it always active, just do like uh, data, get, uh, block, boop, boop, boop. And then you'll see, where is it? Auto 1B. So we would just do like uh, that. So set block, boom, boom, boom. Command block, boop, boop. Command colon, oh. Say hi, and then auto, uh, slower case, we don't need anything. Auto, 1B. So 1, and then 1 is true, 0 is false, and then B for Boolean. And then boom. Oh, it already said hi because it's always active. Basically, now, if we set this right here, boom, hi, and then since that got executed successfully, it's going to execute the next one. Since that was successful, next one, the next one, over and over. Uh, yeah, that, that's how that works. So, yeah, this one, it will... It's going to say hi to IT, and it's going to put a block above that. So, boom. There will be a minecart, maybe, that sometimes falls off. But we could... But you can fix that. Uh, why well, it's not working. But, yeah, basically, you just, um... Set it to a special thing. I think you gotta use those that special character. Uh, single quotes. Set block boop three out one down three out command command underscore block uh, say hi and then that block, boop, three, boop, boop, three, red, and I was going to block. And then we're going to execute that, we're going to copy that. Basically the way this whole thing works is, it was something a falling block, uh, with the time of one, so it can actually hit the ground, in the block state, so it's actually an activator rail falling. So, activator rail. So basically, it's a falling block. It's like falling sand. So do uh, sand. It's basically so when this is falling, it summons an entity called falling sand. And basically, uh, that entity has a uh, block type, block state. And basically, that just tells it what block it is. So boom, it will just summon an activator rail, and then it summon, and then it has passengers. It's passengers is a command block minecart right here. Command block minecart with the command of, and then the command that you put in. And basically, it will land on top of the activator rail, it will get activated. It will activate it in the same order as you put it here. Basically, the last one will always be the set lava. So it's going to set that last one in the lava, replacing the activator rail, so it doesn't execute more than once. And since that would be lava, it's going to kill the command block minecarts. So no more of those. And now we're going to paste that in. Or did I mess something up? But yeah, uh, you can just use this. Simple. Say 1, say 2, say 3, 
Save four. Oh well. Oh, well, I messed it up. There is no going back, so I might have to modify that later in a later version. And then say I two I T, and then boom, enter that. And copy that, and then clear chat F three D, so you don't get that thing, and then execute. Boom. One two three five hide a white T, and as we see. That's exactly what we put, we put one two three five hide a YT. Uh, simple as that. Made in C sharp. Uh, wasn't that hard. Um, I made this command right here. This will be in our next video on how to make this. I have a thing. Hold on. Oh, I'll give you. Wait. I'll be back in one second. All right, and we're back. And I have this right here. I made this by hand because that was before I made this plugin. I mean, not plugin. Uh, blah, 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 executable file. Basically, what it does is it makes a random number generator. So if I copy this command block, I can show you the execute. It would always face the west, I think. Nope, east. So you put that down. Let me get my. Right here, you copy all this. You put that in. And yeah, basically, it's just filling this these bits. It just sets um. It just uh, makes the outline for that box, and then all this is just all the commands, like summon arm with stand and crap. Easy as that. Uh, put that in there. Uh, I will have this in the description if you do want it. I might make a video on it. That might be my next video. So let's see. So boom, F3D, and boom. Simple as that. And as you saw that lava, since it was like what it was on the last stage, lava so it disappears instantly. I mean not instantly, but like shortly after. So if we go inside. Oh crap, I have my game muted. Did not realize that. Oh wow. Well. Basically, these are just summoning the armor stand. Uh, uh, this one does too. If it's summoning the armor stand with a special tag. So if I do a tag, uh, tag, at e distance. Oh, if you're doing distance, you need to put dot dot and then the distance. Uh, list. Boom. So it's the total of uh, tags R, 1, 2, uh, 3, and 4. And basically, so this button will just set uh, this block to redstone, and this is the reset, which will fill this with redstone blocks. And oh, yeah, this command block kills any item, so if I drop something here, yeah, it's gone now. And this is the um, actual main feature, kind of. So basically, all this is doing is. Um, all it does is it wait where is that command oh here so basically it just teleports a random one with the tag r so r for random and it's going to teleport it uh, it's going to teleport a random one a limit of one uh, right here in between these two blocks and basically it's going to be a random one so either one two three or four and basically these are just always active if one is nearby you would say one if it's two then it would say two if it's three you would say three if it's four it would say four and basically, so if we press this button, we get three, two, two, four, one. Basically, as we see uh, this, so like that gets teleported over there. Yeah, actually, I think I just do this right. Yeah, so boom, boom, boom. Basically, all that's happening. So uh, it's just gonna get teleported. Boop, teleported over there. Instantly teleported back. And we got completely random number set of stuff. And like we can hook this up to anything like um so since these are each individual command blocks, this is four, three, two, and one. Basically you can just uh like this next command block could be like set redstone somewhere else, so like above here. And basically it will just execute uh, another command, so like random number like uh you can make like a pseudo AI thing. Um basically like it can remember its moves and stuff, it just makes random moves and stuff like that. Uh, so like fill boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. oh and if you're wondering what that other button was uh right over here this just reset oh yeah see like these things are dead so I just have to do this boop and boom all of them back they're all back right now so if I if you accidentally kill them boom and they're back now they're all back and then we'll just uh, generate a random number. 
And this one, it's my testing thing. Test, one, two, test. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, leave a like. So my GitHub will be in the description for the program if you want to use it. I will be updating it for later stuff. Um, I will make one for 1.8.9 1 uh, because I know it said passenger, it uses writing. I think I think it uses writing. So right now I'm pretty sure this works for 1.9 and up, but I've only tested it for 1.16.5, 1.16, all the way to 1.17, which is the current version right now that came out yesterday. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.